this is not just like an unenthusiastic thumbs up. Um, I think we should do a deep dive into the pronunciation of which is the correct way to pronounce it, right? No, you say What are some other words that people do the very um, Whatever. Is that, would that be an Istanbul accent? No, it's the non-degenerate normal speech accent. No, no, no. I mean like the Hoshgal I mean, to me, that sounds very degenerate, but um, we, degenerate. Only have, we only have 100 subscribers, so I don't want to lose mm, many. How do you say Hoshgal <laughs> <laughs> So I'm not going to say, so I'm not going to say any more things about this. I like for to see the French tuck. Just this bit, not the whole thing. <laughs> the French, they simply don't have the time to tuck in the whole shirt. They just do a tuck and go. They do. Little did Ahmed know that his shoe would be YouTube famous. tell you something. Mm -hmm. We were at the Pazar the other day and we saw one of the dudes that carries things around uh, which is called a Hamal. A Hamal. And I kind of wondered, that sounds like a little bit like a camel and indeed the person's role is to carry things around like so much camel. Uh, so I looked it up and it turns out that maybe it does come from camel after all because in Arabic I think hamal is to carry something um, so there you go just when you thought there was no linguistic content in these videos there you go uh, a little bit of Arabic on top of all the English and Turkish content and the French tuck so what do you call these in Ankara um, all the portals. Uh huh. And how do you use the portals in Ankara? Um, well, I was kind of wondering. Like, it looks as if you could just like kind of start going this way, and it would start rolling. I hope it doesn't. But uh, at least part of me hopes that it does. Where are we going? We are going to eat breakfast at a place, the name of which I do not know. At a around a metro stop, the name of which I do not know, um, about 30 minutes Radical. Walk from uh, the house. Uh, what's the name of the, the, the metro stop? Um, Umitkoi. Umitkoi. Does that mean something? Everyone's called something Koi, right? Kadikoi. Um, yes. um, a Koi is a village. Okay. That's just look cool. Uh, and what do we like to do on a Sunday in a cafe? I'll give you a hint. It starts with C and it ends with D and, and it rhymes with Rossword. <laughs> Yeah. You know what I did yesterday? I did one of the very hard oh, ones hi. for a while. They're sort of harder. Caper boys. I oh, know, wait. What do I want to say? I want uh, to say I want to say to the camera that we they kept pestering us trying to take away our non unfinished food and coffee. So we're leaving. 
we've just had enough of their over attentive service uh, we want to be left in peace to drink our intoxicating beverages that's coffee um, <laughs> um yeah. yeah that's about it that's about it well, look at these nice berries I wonder if anybody could get a haircut at the child uh, pet grooming salon. Ha 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 ha. I'm so glad that the microphone wasn't in for that joke. I can say it again. <laughs> Are you determined to make that joke? Sure, I'll make the joke again. Hey, honey bunny, look. Did you get a little haircut today? Shall we go to the child... <laughs> no. Uh, shall we go to the child... Pet grooming salon. <laughs> you can do you can do your little paws. Filming a cut screen to keep our audience watching. Maybe there's you know how there's all those expressions like um, someone is like all hat and no cattle. Mm-hmm. You know. All cut well, basically and no content. All cut screens and no content. It's really it's quite warm in the sun, isn't it? Yeah. Sitting down series. Until. I'll have to do like a thumb reveal story at some point. Of why this is not just like an unenthusiastic thumbs up, but the best I can do with my disabled thumb. How did I? How did I injure my thumb? We don't have the microphone in. Just give me a second. Let me put the microphone in. Um, yeah. So it can be forcibly extended like this. It's just. Try as I might, it doesn't move because what happened to it? You remember? Oh, you mean the time that we were both skateboarding and I pushed you and you fell very badly and I laughed at you and didn't take you to the hospital so that you didn't so that you didn't get to have your thumb fixed in time and it had to stay like that for an extended period of time, which resulted in you having a fixed crooked thumbs up. I mean part of that is true. Um, it did indeed involve skateboarding and you know at the time I didn't even know it had happened. Like obviously it was painful but I didn't I didn't realize it wasn't extending fully and it was only I was driving the car on the way home. It's pretty strange. It was like oh it doesn't really sort of bend properly but I didn't think so much of it at the time. I just assumed that it would just be okay later and it just never worked again. And that was that. So give us a... This is the regular one. And this is the... Uh, yeah, so... Oh, and uh, when I was teaching in Japan, um, I used to do kind of like thumbs up to the kids to say well done. And they started like not joking, they started copying it like that. Just, you know, because they're kids and they just copied what, what I did, they're like, <laughs> which was quite embarrassing. And there's another kid in the Japanese class that I only, after a while, recognized he was doing like a kind of anti, you, you know the thing that like kids do where they like make their eyes like slanty mm -hmm. to make them more look like Chinese or whatever. This kid was going, was looking at me going like, <laughs> like, Look at how like wide open your eyes are, ha ha ha. Because I didn't even know what he was doing. I thought he was tired. And he was like forcibly keeping his eyes like open to stay awake. But then I realized you're just mimicking my, my eyes, mocking my eyes. Yep, oh wow, some. good job actually. And they look really ripe. These are delicious. But they have a weird texture. 
So these um, we know the name of in Turkish, but not English, right? Yes, but I can look it up. And in Turkish, what is it? This is Ide. Ide. And we don't have the microphone, but don't you think that this is such a step climate fruit? Look at the texture of it. It's not juicy or oh, anything. They're tasty. They're so tasty. Mm. But they're like dry like that, but they're so sweet. I would be surprised if we have these in the UK. I mean, that is dry, oh, but they're good. It's just like marzipan. Really? Yeah. What's a marzipan like? Marzipan is the stuff made from almonds. You know what I mean? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it tastes quite like that. Like so much chipmunk <laughs> storing it in his cheeks. Well, you know, after, after you've eaten mm. a few of mm. these, your mouth really starts to feel really dry. Because these are very dry. Why do you think birds have not consumed them? I bet they do. Mm. Oh, that's so Maybe tasty. they cannot land that's so tasty. on these branches. Compa right? The taste now compared to the taste back in. Was it? August. August that we first had? September. Them? Yeah. Oh, they're incredible. Yeah, I told you. Mm. Right? I, I mean, told you, and you remember, you weren't a big fan of these when I first showed you? No. Because mm. they weren't ripe, but these are so mm. ripe. You know, these are even bigger when they are watered properly. Oh, wow. Now we're home. Did that just change, like, the light a lot? Uh, so. Yes, but that is because my phone is dead. Oh. That's a problem. We'll have to fix that problem. We'll fix that problem by ending this video. Bye. Please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe if you have some more content like this.